Hello boys and girls. In today's video, you're going to learn how to make your own baby peep birds out of paper and a nest for them to go in. Instead of making this nest out of yummy goodies like Rice Krispie treats and chocolate and coconut flakes, you'll make it out of a paper plate and some paint. If you don't have paint, you could always use brown construction paper or use your crayons. Here's how to do it with the materials I've listed. Start with your paper plate, fold it in half, press down firm, firmly, open it back up, notice your line, and cut. You should probably use bigger scissors if you can. And there you have half. Now you can use your construction paper or some other options. After cutting your paper plate, trace it and now you have a template to put your little peep birdies in. You're going to want to make the number eight. Start with an S, but don't be late. Close it up to make an eight. I know what you're saying. That's just a number eight. How is it going to look like a birdie? Well, let me show you. You're going to make a diamond. Did you know that the real geometric name for a diamond is a rhombus? After you make your rhombus, you can add eyes. This can be done with googly eyes if you have them, or you can draw your own. There's just two circles with two black dots in the center. If you have feathers, you can put feathers on them. Let's make a couple more. Start with an S, but don't be late. Close it up to make an eight. The smaller you leave this, the harder it will be to cut out as one piece. So connect it as much as possible. Make your rhombus. You can draw a line to show the mouth is open and add your eyes. This one's looking up. Maybe he's got a funny feather on his head. Last one. Start with an S, but don't be late. Close it up to make an eight. Let's try a different shape. Maybe this peep is looking off to the side. What shape did I just make? Right, a triangle. You can even make another baby triangle to show an open mouth. And one eye, because he's looking to the side, his other eye is on the other side of his head. With my basic eight pack of crayons, I can open it up take my orange and color in my rhombus. If I want to change it up a little bit, I can take my black crayon to show that the mouth is open. And if I had a pink or maybe a light red to show, that birds have tongues. And last, what color are baby birds? That's right, they're yellow.
Notice how I'm putting away my crayons when I'm done with them? This way, you'll make sure not to break them and not to lose them. Now it's time to cut my little peep chicks out. I'm using a mixture of Craft Smart acrylic brown paint and Crayola's Perlet Tempura Mixture Medium to make the brown paint go further. In the other half of my container, I have the two and I'm just going to swirl them together. And it's okay if you have streaks of white because that looks realistic like real bark and sticks in what's going to be your bird's nest. When I feel like I'm ready, I'm going to take my paint and little by little paint it on. Now, let it dry. Now's the time if you had brown string or brown pipe cleaners, you could cut them into small strips and glue them onto your nest. You could, if you don't have those things, cut strips of paper, color them brown with paint or crayons or colored pencils, whatever you have, markers, and glue them down in random places. That'll show texture. Don't be afraid to get your fingers dirty. I hope you liked this activity. Try it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Have a good day.